Hi guys, welcome to Tech Press with yet another video. In this video, I want to show you how to quickly create a video using Microsoft Photos app. So if you're using Windows 10, you must be familiar with this Photos app, but you might be wondering how to create videos. Okay, recently Microsoft has added some cool features like adding videos, adding some filters to your photos and creating albums and even adding some 3D effects to the uh, video. First thing, first go to Photos app and launch it. And this is where you have the collections. You mean it means that it indexes the pictures that are in the picture folder. So sometimes you may want to add more folders to the Photos app. In that case, go to the folder and choose the folder and index it and click uh, add the folder to the picture. Then the pictures in that particular folder will be added to the collection. And you can actually choose those pictures to create videos. That's it. So there are three options to create videos. So to create videos these are the three options automatic video with music custom video with music album so quickest way to create a video is click album and choose the pictures that you want to add to the video then click create then it will automatically add some motions and uh, filters some text tiles so it will be added to the album and you can actually try uh, playing this uh, from here so if you want to play, watch it in with real effect and background music, you can see that. This is what it looks like. Looks cool, yeah, right? So it has actually added some filters. You can see the changes in, the, in its color. So this is what it looks like. And if you want to export this particular album, you just click this export or, or share and you have three is three options to render this video because this video is still not ready to play outside this application so in that case you will have to render this yeah our best option is this best for sharing online so go for this second option it creates an mp4 format just click best for sharing then it'll start uh, creating that particular album however so it has created the album so the album uh, will be in this folder windows explorer go to pictures and here you can see that ex exported videos and this is the video that we have just created that's it so however sometimes you may want to uh, edit this particular album you're yeah, right in that case this click edit however in this video i'm going to show you how to create a custom video that's the quickest way to create a video but However, sometimes you may want to do more thing and you may want to add more thing to your video. In this case, it's better to go for custom video with the music. Choose a picture that you want, then it will directly take you to the video editor instead of uh, creating the album right away. Okay, so then choose the pictures and click create and it will create a video from the selected items and it will take you to the uh, video editor. And this is where you edit and you need to add a name to your project and click OK so it's been saved as a project but it's still not ready uh, to play outside uh, this application so from here you can do a lot of things uh, by default this application adds a theme to the your picture or your project so that you know, by default it should play uh, with the music background music and some filters to the pictures sometimes you may want to add uh, some extra videos to your project so in that case click this add photos and videos you can actually add them from the web or from the collection or from this PC I'm going with this PC and choose a video and you can identify the video with this play button and to add this uh, video to your project or storyboard just drag it and pop it here you have added so I'm going to add more add. Okay. this is what it looks like so by default it has actually added some filters some motions and also some textile theme so if you don't want any themes uh, you can actually go to this theme option and uh, click no theme then or you know everything will be removed from the that particular video okay so a theme has been removed first thing first you need to set some duration for each and every picture so I'm going with five seconds for our 
each and every picture. You can also uh, add some custom uh, duration like uh, for and click enter. So when it comes to videos, you can actually add a duration because it already has some duration, you right? So in this case, you, all you can do is trim. Sometimes you may want to cut out some particular part of that particular video and add it to your story. Then click trim and this is where you actually trim the video. You can use this marker to set the duration of your uh, trim, okay? So I'm going with that. You can also use this panel to add some filter to your video. You can see that. So and also use this panel to add some text. And choose the text style from here. That's it. Then once you're done, uh, click done. Okay. Now let's see what it looks like. Finds the attitude or the and you see that often. there is a background sound to this particular video. Sometimes you may want to mute this that background sound. You don't want that sound in your new video, right? So in that case, choose that particular you know, story uh, and click this volume button and click once again and mute it. You can mute and unmute just by clicking that icon, right? So it's muted. Now you won't hear any sound. That's it. So if you want to add text to each and every picture uh, that are on your storyboard, uh, choose that particular picture and click text and uh, add the text that you want to add to TechPress and choose a style I'm going with this and also layout okay once you're done click done that's it and you want to add you want to resize the picture sometimes now you want to remove this black uh, bar from this particular picture in that case choose that picture click resize and remove black bars then black bar will be removed okay so that's it now sometimes you may want to add some motion to the picture but it still doesn't look good because the picture doesn't have any motion it's a still you know it doesn't have any life so in that case choose that particular picture and click motions and choose the motion that you want there are several motions here zoom in center zoom out center like this so I'm going with this pan left and click done. So I'm going to do it for each and every picture. Some random motions. Instead of adding these motions and textiles, you can actually go for th uh, some built in theme. Then it will uh, be automatically added to your story. You don't need to, you don't necessarily need to do it to, for each and every picture and videos. Well, of course, if you are adding some video to your storyboard, sometimes you'll have to use this uh, trim uh, so that you can actually uh, take some part out of that particular video and add it to your story. That's it. Now let's see what it looks like. See that? Now it has a slight motion and you can see that it's moving. We are going to add some 3D effects to the this particular video uh, scene okay that gets choose that and go with this 3d effects and there are many effects available it actually uh, mixes this 3d effects uh, into your particular video or particular picture that's what it happens okay so I'm going with this use this bar to set the duration of your uh, particular 3d effects you can also use this volume uh, up and down to set the volume and if you want to remove any particular 3d effects you can click delete that's it and once you're done click done now let's see what it looks like see that it 
see that that's really cool yeah it looks really uh, these 3d effects are uh, right in that particular video not a special effect that's a cool thing about uh, that 3d effects it's really mixes with the video or picture that you uh, add to right now you want to add some background music to the video right in that case click this music you can actually choose any of the music that's available uh, in the photos app you now you can try playing this or you may add your own music in that case you need to select a music file from your pc and add it to your add it to the video okay that's how it works so in this case i'm going with one of these uh, i'm going with this now it should look cool see that That's it. So that's how you create a video using Photos app. So it's simple. Choose the pictures and videos from the collections and click create custom videos with music and it'll take you to the edit, uh, you know, editing panel. And from here, you just drag and drop the pictures to the storyboard uh, and add some theme and set the duration for each and every picture and resize if you want and add some filters if you want, add text add motions and 3d effects and your video is ready now you want to create this video i mean render this video right it's still not ready to play outside this application you can only play this within the application the good thing about this photos app is you don't necessarily need to save each and every time you make some changes to your story using this application because it automatically saves you don't need to do anything else you just need to drag and drop and add the text and effects to the video that's it it will be saved as a project but however, if you want to play this video outside, you know, outside this application, outside uh, this application, in that case, you have to export. In that case, click this export and share and choose any of these three options. So if you want to share this video online, the best option is the second one, the best for sharing online. In this case, it creates an MP4 file and you can actually sh you uh, share it uh, online faster. Okay, so for a quick upload, go for this and longest upload go with this third option so you don't need to set anything set a, its resolution or bitrate you don't have to do anything here you just need to click this and it will start creating the video so let's start so it's creating the video okay okay so finally the video is ready now i can actually play this video outside this application you can also play from here okay see that okay then if you want to view this in the file explorer you just click this view in the file explorer and if you want to share to social media email or another application you can also use this option from here and it'll show the this these options here you can upload it to youtube or you know you can share with facebook uh, or any other application available here anyway i'm not sharing it so to view that in the file explorer just view file explorer and it'll take you to this uh exported videos it's actually in this picture folder go to picture folder in your file explorer and just click exported videos and this is a video that we have just created so that's it guys that's how you actually create videos using microsoft photos app so i hope this helps please subscribe to my channel for more videos tips and tricks like this Please hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.